welcome back to it, you guys. You are still tuned in to Hectic 99. We're back out here in the kitchen with mm -hmm. Chef Jane, and we're going to be carrying on with our cooking. So, Chef Jane, let's talk about you know the different. Let's remind everyone what we're making today. We're starting off our starters. It's a boiled egg. How to make a perfect boiled egg. Okay, cool. And then next up? Next up, we've got the steak sizzling in the pan. Okay, sweet. And then finally... Oh, souffle. Which means blown away in French, so you can understand why it goes so... Okay, sweet. So let's talk about the perfectly boiled egg. How do you achieve that? Remember we started off in cold water? It was completely covered. Right? Okay, sweet. For a soft boiled egg, from the moment that the water starts boiling and rolling, mm -hmm. it takes only three to four minutes. Okay, for a soft boiled a egg. A soft boiled egg. Okay, sweet. Remove it from the, from, the, from the water once you're ready and you're happy and run it under cold water. That helps you actually peel it very easily. Immediately. Exactly. Okay, sweet. So soft is three to four. If you want a, a medium hard one, you go six minutes. And if you want a really hard boiled egg, ten minutes. Okay, sweet. So it's a timing it. thing. Exactly, that's all. Okay, sweet. So and that's yeah. how you get your perfectly boiled egg. So let's talk um, the steaks. Ooh. How do we get the different... Um, um, <laughs> I've lost my words. How do we get it either medium rare or Quick. medium or well done? Quick, you use your hands, right? Okay, sweet. You, look, you have a look at the steak. We're going to use this one as an example, right? You can either use your hand, touch it over here. Okay, sweet. Feel it soft. Or use your tongs. And his hands, check it out. My aunt showed me this trick. She's yeah. a chef, is really So cool. what are we feeling for? First two fingers, right? Okay, so please. you're making a perfect three. Just lightly put together. And okay. you can show with that, oh, that's nice and rare, yo. You can feel it, no, oh, okay. tender. So you want to push your thumb and your index finger together. Exactly. And that's the first one. Next two, next two together, exactly. That's a little bit medium, medium rare. Okay, you sweet. Know? Next two, medium to well done. Okay. Can you feel it? Yeah, Are you trying getting to get tougher. It there we go, <laughs> and well done. It's the very last, your pinky and your thumb together. And you feel that piece of meat over here is very okay. hard. So that's the um, feeling that you should feel for. That's exactly, if you like a okay, well done sweet. steak, that's all you gotta so do. So what do we have going on here? It saved me so many times. This one is still medium, well rare, going to medium. Slightly, we're gonna hit it back into the pan a little bit later. Finish it off with some butter, some salt and pepper again, taste it. Ooh. And then you guys are gonna be the judges. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So let's talk souffle because I feel like everyone who's a passionate foodie is always, you know, frightened by the idea of preparing a souffle. How do you prevent it from flopping? It's actually not that difficult. There's a lot of mystery about it, but we can dispel it right here. Okay, let's do it. It's all about that egg white. Remember we separated the yellow from yeah. the white? We're using the yellow and the white, but the white you have to whip up really stiffly. So we're whipping okay. up, whipping up, whipping up. Let me try some. Whisk it for me, whisk it for me. Okay, cool. And then when you're ready, will you hold it above your head? Okay. Is it tight enough? <laughs> is it fluffy enough? The only way we're gonna know is if we hold it above your head. Are you gonna be the judge? You can hold it above mine. Let's see. You can do it to me. Give it a stir. Oh, you can see there's a nice. You can find the recipe on Facebook, I'm sure, right? Oh, okay, I've put cool. it up. I've given you guys the recipe as well. Okay, cool, guys. So be sure to check out our Facebook. Yes. Okay, let's try. Let me try. Let me try. Okay, I'm guessing it's good enough, right? Three Are they six, worth second row? <laughs> It's worked, it's worked, it's beautiful. Okay. okay, last thing is we have to fold it through. I've made a, a mixture of milk, of chocolate, of flour, uh, so of we made egg yolks, right? You'll find the recipe over there, it's really cool. You just whisk it up all together. So you're saying the secret to not flopping is it's the egg all white. all about this, all about this. Okay, put okay, that cool. one down, and then about folding it in. Okay. okay, sweet. So mixture goes in a little bit at a time, right? Because you want to make sure that it all gets incorporated and that you're not missing anything. A metal spoon is the perfect one to use because it will keep in the air. Yeah. Now we're combining. So why do you want to keep the air in? Oh, because obviously that's what's going to be the one that rises the souffle when you pop it in the oven, right? Okay. It only takes about 10 to 12 minutes depending on your size. Okay. So once you have folded everything in and you're ready to put it into the oven, Ooh. how long are we leaving it in the oven for? Only 10 to 12 minutes. That's all you need. You're going to judge it depending on the size of your ramekins. We have small ones because everybody wants to taste. Yeah. And it's going to go so fast. But when you do take it from the oven, hey, you have to serve it really fast. Otherwise, it will flop. Okay, and cool. that's, the, that's the cool part over the souffle, right? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to let Chef Jane carry on over there, you guys. I cannot wait to taste. These dishes are all looking lovely, you guys. Hectic.